as I promised, <laughs> I'm gonna make just a little bit more in detail a video about uh, this automatic dialysis, which is not the same as what we did before, which was a manual one. So as you can see, here is our machine. Nice we machine. named him. Drew, was it? Yes. <laughs> no, Drew. All right. Oh no, Daniel? I have no idea. I don't know you. What do you think, Drew or Daniel? <laughs> you comment below. Um, anyways, so we've cleaned it all. So it's completely yeah, as clean as it can be, basically, yep. with spirit with and spirit everything. And Every part of it. Every part of it. The screen, the all the handles, everything, all the hooks, and the bags that you see hanging on the sides. Those are full of fluids, um, which yes. are what is going to go into my body, and of Stay course, there for about an hour. Or about less. an hour and absorb all of the toxins, which normally the kidney would do, but the fluid is doing it instead. And then that fluid will be drained out and then replaced with clean fluid, which will do the same thing over and over again six mm -hmm. times throughout the whole night. So I'm basically hooked up with my my um, catheter here um, for seven and a half hours yeah, throughout the whole yeah. night. Mm. Uh, now, a thing that we tried uh, since yesterday mm. was um, keeping An some extra. extra fluid, like a liter in my stomach throughout the whole day because we were trying to see if Maybe some excess fluid will come out that way because, like I said before, I'm retaining a lot of water in my body and it's very uncomfortable. But, I don't know, it doesn't feel very nice <laughs> to be just bloated and have so much fluid. And on top of that, that dialysis fluid in my stomach is really pressing on my chest and I feel very breathless. So it's not that comfortable so I'm gonna talk to my nurse tomorrow but um, that's basically what you see here now we're just waiting for the machine to kind of prepare itself and right. there will come a tray out where and then all these wires mm -hmm. have to be hooked to it yeah, and that's these that's all the ones that have this barcodes on them the machine basically reads off the barcodes and identifies which type of fluids they are yeah, it recognizes, um, and if it sees something is wrong, it'll tell. it will recognize it and give an alert. Yeah. And we're still in the living room. This machine is takes its space, and mostly because it has a lot of equipment. And it has a lot of like stuff. bulk around it. Mm -hmm. So, Heating stuff. Yeah. so I'm basically sleeping downstairs still because I'm also still very week so i'm not able to walk up the stairs yet um at least not every day i tried the other day and i was exhausted afterwards <laughs> um so we just folded out one of our couches here and there it's, okay. it's coming out so you can see it coming out slowly but surely some part of it first it has had some history of not coming out too yeah <laughs> I don't know why. It's not like we push it in ourselves or anything, we don't touch it. The same process, be extra, extra careful with anything that's going into the machine. Alright, you can see there's a nice little video that shows you what I'm supposed to do. I don't think they can see that. Okay. Well, basically this, not, this part should not be touched. And if I do, I'll have to start the whole process again. Get a new one out. And also these wires should not touch the ground. You just place it in there. Uh, okay. Here in the corners, I kick it in. It's kind of like a disc or like, yeah, disc that it reads off. It's, a, it's in now. <clears throat> and you can see the wires are not on the floor. It shouldn't it, touch anything actually. It shouldn't touch anything. Really. So now I take the, this is done, and I take the, the 
plus sign green. Then I start to take these one after the other out. Let's see. Them out. So then the same process, you know, these things have to be removed from top here. Connecting the the bags, just like in the manual one, there has to be a bag to collect all the kind of the toxic fluid. fluid that is has yeah. been in my stomach. So because it's drained out, right? So it's drained out into two has, bags. Yeah. And this is the one that will go into her body, right? The, with the you're attached yeah. to your catheter, that's already there. And there's a second one in case that she needs to, for example, get up in the middle of the night for any purpose. Yeah. So, what well, I still don't know how to use that, so. I'm stuck. I'm stuck to my bed. <laughs> basically stuck to her bed. Yeah. I can't detach you from the machine. I can take the whole machine with you. We did that time. once. <laughs> okay. Yes, kind the of. are mixed. Mm. Yeah, so basically, in those uh, drainage bags will then be emptied tomorrow morning or whenever Perfect. into yes. the toilet oh my gosh we should show them hmm. oh my god all this stuff all of this stuff so that's why we need to have the dustbin close by <laughs> mm. and i can't touch it anyway until after all of this yeah so there's a lot of clearing up mm. and there's a lot of waste after this mm. like a lot of plastic mm. and paper and So it's soon, soon ready. Yeah. I think I should just go to the bathroom first. Please. Oh my gosh. I'm just checking if everything's working or not. So I just have to check that the wires are all in place. <sighs> it's a long process. And um, we experience sometimes really funny stuff like the machine decides to not work. It beeps in the night, quite a loud alarm actually. I wish I could show you what the alarm is, but did you hear when the when this little shelfing thing was opening up? Do you remember that sound that came? Well, it's a bit like that. It's really, really loud. It's much worse actually. <clears throat> so now the, the little shelf is going completely in. You can see now it's all ready and it tells me to join the yellow ones you know the empty bags i mean the bags but the things go like that's open this it's, it's also locked but it's open so basically when it's full i can close this so that it doesn't flow back outwards that kind of happened once and then so we had to empty out like one two three four bags instead of two so um i'm going to do this later on when we come that far uh, well, basically now we are ready uh, and now we, if I press this button again, it says okay, then all these wires that are here, you know, all of them, they're filled up with the fluid because there's supposed to be no air, right, that goes into a body, just like in the manual one, you have to make sure that there is no air, so we do all of this, all of these things, I wait until they're filled up and that's a six minute process totally. Uh, so it comes out here into this um, the disc uh, which you can't see actually in the video and i don't want to take it out of its socket for right now but anyway i showed you right the wire where we're going to attach a catheter that's in here so six minutes and i got my cloth my tissue paper ready so when it decides to flow out in about when there's just two minutes left then I will know if the fluid is coming out or not. If it is, awesome. The otherwise, I have to go press and make sure a lot of fluid comes out first. Mostly it's a lot of mess, you know, first and foremost. It's a lot of paper, a lot of plastic. 
A lot of ways. A lot of ways. The other day we were watching this beautiful program and uh, called Down. Down to Earth. Down to Earth, and they were showing this Costa Rica place where people were just living one with nature. Everything was vegetarian, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. They're living, living on sustainable. Life nature, living highly sustainable. No plastic, no waste, nothing. And we kind of really felt bad because we are like major producers of plastic. <laughs> but also like we don't have a choice. So. Of course, we don't have a choice, I know, but it just, you know that feeling, right? When you really want, when you do really care about your environment. Yeah, it's the same with care. insulin stuff. Yeah, same with Actually, insulin. Actually with all the medicines, to be honest. Like yeah. think of all those boxes and all those packaging packagings and, and just, that's a lot. <laughs> a lot of stuff that just needs to be thrown out it says that something about the wires are not proper so i need to check that they're all okay make sure that they're all properly not that anything is bending too much or you know because that will hinder it from something bent these bags are super heavy they're like uh oh, five kilos each uh -huh. not kilos i mean five liters <laughs> liters each yeah. no, so, no. let's right. see okay. so it actually indicates if something is not correct either which is awesome which is really nice yeah so you know if something is wrong we normally try to get it done by like, 11 latest latest by 11 but like between 10 30 and 11 we've been doing it yeah by seven o'clock i get to fix it in the morning this whole process has actually taken 14 minutes and that too we've done half of the process we didn't even do the full process yeah. otherwise it would take a good 20 minutes now up to this point <laughs> So it obviously is going to take 20 to 30 minutes for the whole process to be over. Yeah. Something like this that. This part is what takes time. Mm. I just have to be patient with everything. And the thing is that you not can't touch anything. So I, I, although I see the mess and I want to clear up, I can't clear up. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm so afraid we're going to slip and fall or hurt ourselves with all these things that I threw down on the floor. If he just but what we could do is use like that empty box and just put it in there. In the empty big, uh, some small box, though not a big one, but because even that I fell on. Yeah. So yeah, some box like an open box. Yeah. You can just put it in directly. Yes. Without touching anything. Oh, can I have some too? I have the bottle there. Oh, I can't open it. You can have, have it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I could get it. No, 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 you have to hold the glass. I have to hold the glass, it's okay. I just clean my hands and all. So. Now we need to drain it, remember? Oh, right, I have to drain it first, right? Now, a few minutes. So. I'm oh, putting I my little protection. I forgot to take my insulin. I'm going to do that later. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Doing that, mm -hmm. holding it, waiting for it. <laughs> One of our assistants has really peed on me, and it kind of did just now. Then I'm gonna take my insulin. The same thing like we did last time. Let's hook into the. Wait, thing. wait, wait! We didn't see it. Yeah. Do you know the one that I open yeah. up like this? The hat. Off. Yeah. So it's ready for tomorrow. Now we are going to connect my tube to the machine. Right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Talking, but can you see what's going on? Kind of, can you see what's going on? That's 
Now I need to open this lock for it to drain out the fluid that's inside of me now. Should it open right? Mm-hmm. Let's see. How much has come out? Uh, one liter went in. Mm -hmm. At least one liter should come out again. Mm -hmm. More actually, hopefully. Is it ready? No, not yet. Mm -hmm. Another thing with this machine is it's made to like really try to get out literally every last drop that's inside. So it actually sucks much harder than the one um, the manual than one. the manual one. So it can be pretty painful <laughs> if it's empty. Mm -hmm. um, so towards the end, it's usually yeah, not so pleasant, but at least it doesn't last for too long. <laughs> Down, maybe a little, so it goes faster. What they do is, it's a pretty long wire from the machine to me, so uh, it, we basically just like tape it to the mattress, yeah. you know, so it doesn't um, just hang around everywhere and is a little bit stable. Yeah, then also the actually when it's coming out and the cycles, it won't make a fuss. Yeah, it's so here it's taped. Yeah. Just, yeah. No more? No more, it looks like. I think you should try one more time. Oh, um, you got over a thousand. But I think you should try again. Mm -hmm. No pain? No. So now I'm starting to feel that it's getting less and less because I can feel that all it's right. sucking uh, on me. You can cut out all the previous part and just keep this part. Make a different Okay, it's okay, finished now. now. Okay, so I'm so, not going to repeat it. Okay, now I'm going to hop over. How much did we get out? Uh, 1,028. It's only 28 plus. Oh. All right, now it's ready. It's all empty. And this is open, right? It feels nice to be empty. <laughs> it feels nice to be empty? Yeah. Let's keep my last page in Now already passed twenty three thirty two. All right, it's going in. All right, I'm going to go put this back there. Now I can feel it going in. Okay, is it warm? Mm -mm. It's always a little colder than me. No. So now it's going back to its place. <laughs> oh no! I don't have any more water. The medicine in my mouth, I wasn't very smart. I'm turning off the lights. <sighs> that, <clears throat> I know it is like very complicated and kind of hard to explain. <laughs> I'm not expecting anybody to really like fully understand the whole thing here, but I just thought it would be interesting. <laughs> you know, to see. Uh, it's just a little peek of, of what it's like to be a kidney patient with PD dialysis. She's turning off the lights. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's tired and I'm tired too, very tired for some reason. I haven't done anything, but I'm very tired. Um, so yes, that's it for now. Um, good night. I don't think I'm gonna post it tonight though, but no, it's night for me now. And I'm so, gonna post in the morning. I'll post it later. Some other day. Okay, then just comment below if you have any questions good or want to know about anything else. And um, I'm sending you all of my love and you'll see me in my next video. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Whoops. <laughs> That's not the right. Oh no. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I can't put this in the video. <laughs> no, you can't.
I'm gonna edit out this edit whole out. part. Yeah, please do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already waiting for this. Time. I know.